Hey guys, welcome back to Do It Live. I have a new video for you guys today. I apologize for the different scenery all the time. I'm trying to find the perfect setup to film these videos for you and make sure you guys get good lighting so I don't look like I haven't slept in a couple days. So today on What's the Find, I have a couple pretty good things. We have a $160 computer and a $10 battery bank. Are they worth it? Let's check it out. So again, we're back to what's the find and I update you guys on a couple of the good things that I find on Kijiji and sometimes they're brand new so don't worry, sometimes you can find some of these things as well. So uh, what's going on right now is Black Friday is coming up and people are getting rid of all these good things and what I've got right here is a Dell business desktop. When you used to go to, not university, but like high school and elementary school and stuff like that, they would have these desktops and the monitor would sit right on top of them. Well, these are actually a great little thing to go for as look how small it is. It's smaller than my console killer, which is right here, by the way. And uh, you can check that video. I think it's up here. The video is going to invert, but just click the I in the card above to check out that $500 console killer. But this thing kills that in some aspects. Um, this is $160. That's how much I got one of them for. I actually have four of them and we'll cut to the other three in a second that you guys can take a look at. But this has an i5-4570, 4 gigs of RAM, um, a half a half a terabyte, 500 gigabyte hard drive, DVD player actually too, and a bunch of USB slots. So it's perfect for your home theater setup or like a secondary computer in your house or maybe you need something for your parents and all that sort of good stuff. But I use this as the base of a lot of my builds because I've got a few of them and man do they save money on components. But it doesn't have to be all about gaming and all about PCs. This is great for if you, you know, if you're a university student or a business working person, you need Microsoft Office, PowerPoint, all that stuff. You can also do Photoshop, no problem with the integrated graphics on these things. You just plug it in. You get to go, they come with Windows 7 as well, which is a great little thing to have. And that's that. Again, 160 bucks, not too bad. I'm debating just giving one to my dad so he can hook it up onto his TV and browse the internet instead of on his laptop, which is really, really bad, by the way. So, next on the list, we have this. And I haven't unboxed it yet, because I want to unbox it with you guys. It's a $10 battery bank, so if you know, you have your new shiny cell phones and you go on it like crazy, use up data, watch videos, Netflix, all that sort of stuff, and you notice that your battery's running out, you need a battery bank. Um, they're not anything new, they're all over the place, but I thought this one was quite exceptional because it has 10,000 milliamp hours, which to give you an example, an iPhone has about 2,000, so this charges an iPhone 6 five times, it charges my, I don't know where my phone is, it charges my phone almost three times over, that has a 3000 milliamp hour battery, so 10 bucks I got this for, actually you know what, let's open it up for you guys, let's take a look at it, maybe it's, maybe, it, maybe it's humongous, and it actually kind of is, but 10,000 milliamp hour, if you know you're going to run out of juice, at some point throughout the day you can carry this around or have this maybe in your office or in your car so that just in case or just in dire situations you can charge your phone with this. Ten dollars for a ten thousand milliamp hour battery. That's insane because back in the day when I worked at Future Shop and I got discounts I got Nadly a five thousand milliamp hour battery um, battery bank and that cost me twenty five bucks which at that time was like, whoa, 25 bucks? That's really cheap, I might as well get a few. So to have double the capacity for less than half the price, that's pretty good. So let's open it up. It's by a company called Link E, and hopefully this video will make it out in time for Black Friday, because this is one of the lightning deals on Amazon.ca. So it's $10 Canadian, even cheaper in America. So, Definitely, if you've been thinking about getting a battery bank, and I already broke your packaging, definitely look into something like this because those lightning deals, if you have time, it's one day shipping, so you get it pretty quick, just like I did, and you'll have something somewhat usable, and you didn't even break the bank. 
See what I mean? Batty bank. Gotcha. So, this thing is quite big, and um, I want to compare it to my phone. Do you mind passing me my phone? I do have someone behind the scenes here, but she prefers not to be on camera. Hello there. And she also doesn't want to use her voice. In any case, it's just smaller than my phone, and this is starting to make me realize my phone's quite big. I have this BlackBerry Priv, which is a great Android phone. I know BlackBerry, yeah, yeah, yeah. You can hate on it all you want, but this is actually a well-designed phone, but that's for another day. So as you can see, this is smaller than my phone in terms of height, but definitely thicker, like maybe about three times as much. But the face is definitely smaller. Take a look like that. Focus you. Focus. It's okay, it likes to focus on me. Good job, camera. So, 10,000 mAh has two USB slots for charging. One is a 2.1 amp slot. Come on, focus. One is a 2.1 amp slot. Uh, so that will be fast charging. The other one is a 1 amp, so it's a little bit slower. But at least you can charge two devices at once. And the great thing is if you have an Android, this uses the same cord as an Android uh, phone. So the micro USB B standard, and you can charge this and charge your phone with the same cord. So you don't have to carry multiple cords. So this is nice to have in the office if you're going to run out of juice throughout the day. Um, or if you have multiple devices, then just stack it all from here. You leave this charging while you're in the office, in the car, all that stuff, and you're good to go. You can juice up your phone anytime and maybe some other devices. So that's all I found for this week. Hopefully I find a couple better deals for you guys. And I have a couple more videos in mind, uh, taking advantage of something like this and that desktop that you saw. Of course, I did use something similar when I built my console killer, but I have a really cool idea coming up. I know I keep talking about it. I'm just working out the specifics on it and we'll get it to you guys. So again, if you enjoyed this video, let me know what you think. Leave a comment down below and I'll try to put a link to this. Hopefully it's still on sale by the time I post up this video and you guys can grab one as well. For 10 bucks, you're not missing out. Again, don't forget to subscribe as I'll be doing videos quite often, maybe one or two weekly and we'll try to get you guys some good deals. Again, don't forget to do it live.